so much stuff. Oh, it's nice weather today. Feels so good. I took an Uber from the airport to get to my Airbnb and I was so glad that my Uber driver was so nice because he spoke to my Airbnb host for me because they spoke in Swiss German and asked where the building is because it was a little bit hard to find my Airbnb. I booked this one because it was the cheapest one I could find and it was one of the few available ones that's close to the airport because I only booked my flight ticket about a week before leaving so it was a little bit of a rush and at least this place was still very affordable and it was very comfortable. During the drive to my Airbnb, my safety concern was pretty low because my driver has this plastic divider installed between us and he also kept his mask on during the ride. Go to the bathroom. Look at that. Okay. So, if you can see, the bathroom is super accessible. There's little bars there because I think it's a old people apartment. So. A nice studio. Look, it's complete with a dishwasher, a microwave, and I thought there was a um, washing machine. But look, there's also a mini fridge. I wonder what these are. Because their cabinets just look like normal cabinets, but there's actually like cool stuff in them. Okay, so plates, other essentials for the kitchen. Okay, cute microwave. What else did we have? Coffee maker, probably won't use. What is this? Oh, it's not a cabinet. It's just a little vent for the mini stove. Okay, there's the bed. That's the whole place. And then outside, I have a nice balcony. So, there it is. Okay. That's the Porch. It's really hot. Okay, so I figured it out. And this one is actually fancy. You don't have to do work manually. So you just click this and watch the magic happen. Or maybe not. Come on. Test it out this one here. So just click it up to open it. And so I'm going to close it all the way first. So now it's completely dark. And to open it up. And it's going up. So that's super, super nice. Because you can just block out all that light. And if you have blackout curtains, it's even better. Because it really makes a big difference in how dark it is in here. Okay, there's also one other thing that I really love about the doors and the windows here. So, let me show you. 
So there's two different ways to open the doors here and windows also. Okay, you can just pull it and, and if you turn the knob up, it only. So you see how that is? It's open up there. But like at the bottom, it narrows down, it's like closed. But oh, this is my favorite thing about these doors. I think they're better than sliding doors. And combined with the shutters outside, oh, it's just great. Just nice to let the fresh air in. So if you have it like this, where it's up, that's when it's gonna do this whole thing right here where it's only partially open but if it's more horizontal so i'm gonna close it now i'm just gonna push it the first time that i did this i thought i broke the window because i turned the knob wrong so this one is to open it like a door like so so there you go Okay, so I'm gonna show you my porch. I'm on the first floor, so it's so nice. So they have a little sitting area right here. It's kind of cold this morning, but it's nice because it's not in a busy street. It's a private driveway and parking lot and the store is actually just somewhere right there but I'm not allowed to go out and be around people so this is my outdoors but I specifically got this place and I'm so happy with it because it has a balcony I actually thought this was in on the second floor so Cool little door here. I'm just gonna lock it. After a combined travel time of about 20 hours, I was so, so ready to take a shower and wash all the disgusting, nasty things that clung on to me on the plane, in the airport, and in the Uber. And I just wanted to shower so, so bad because I was so jet lagged at that point. I just wanted to sleep and just be in a comfortable bed. So this is my day two quarantine. I wanted to discuss more about the quarantine. So for Switzerland, they have a 10 day mandatory quarantine for people coming from high risk countries. Coming from the United States, we're pretty up there. Anyway, I arrived yesterday and going through customs was actually a breeze. I was just asked why I was there and why, what's my purpose for visiting or coming in the country and I told them, showed them my visa and after that they just let me go and they did ask me to pull down my face mask and take off the face shield that I was wearing. My mom had given me the face shield and then my aunt gave me an N95 mask so that helped me feel more secure during the flight. Um, I did have two flights. I had a layover in Washington DC from San Francisco and then from there I was um, direct to Zurich. The bad thing was the flight going to Washington DC was actually pretty full. In the plane you start to fill out a form that they give you which helps with contact tracing. You put the information about yourself, where you're going to be staying here, your number, etc. etc. So I arrived in Zurich yesterday. It was about 8 a.m. when we landed and going through customs was actually a breeze. I expected it to be tougher. Um, this was my first time flying into Switzerland 
without having um, gone through another European country first time going through customs here because if you have already come from the Cheyenne countries then you really don't pass through that area at all after I took a nap I started preparing for the day but after the 10 days I realized I really don't want to live a life where you're just at home and you're just sleeping eating cooking and that's all you do it's such a boring thing to do i remember as a kid that that's all i wanted to do and that was one of my dream jobs but man once you're just isolated and you're just there not doing anything it takes a really really bad mental toll on you such a fancy stove so this is the turn it on I'm not quite sure what this is, but you gotta pick whichever one you're using. So this one here, and then one in the box, and then look at this. Could be like a dwarf. Can I can just go here? Oh, you can. So you can go 0 to 100 real quick. So, there it is. I got 10 days worth of groceries delivered to me and so I was able to survive but I had to cook everything myself and I was very limited in what I could make because the Airbnb only had a stove and a microwave and I'm not the biggest fan of using a microwave super super nice and my brace is done Hopefully they didn't stick, but this is basmati rice. I usually get jasmine. I'm used to short grain rice. And then here's my chicken. I didn't cook it all the way yet because I want to add some lemon juice in there. Oh my gosh. So I just started the dishwasher and then we saw this. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Like what? What the hell is this? Okay, but look how cool this dish dryer, dish dryer is. So aside from it being completely hidden in this cabinet. So I'm gonna click start and close it. And look at that magic. It has the setting projected underneath it as the amount of time that it's going to take to clean. So cool. So you can see here what a typical Swiss hospital room looks like. The reason why I was there was because I had some really bad asthma attack during the third and fourth day. And during the second day, it was really waking me up while I was asleep and it wasn't comfortable at all. And the reason for this was because of the week-long fires in California before I left and possibly inhaling a lot of the ashes just even from being indoors. I had to get checked just to make sure I didn't have COVID. I think the added anxiety of I could possibly have COVID kind of played with my mind. Also being in isolation um, made it a little bit worse. but. I was glad that they allowed me to go home after the tests were cleared. I was definitely more calm after that because it's good to know that I was still COVID free the same way I went to Switzerland.